everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahara and today is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is a look inspired by the blood sugar, no not the blood sugar, the blue blood palette. I have several palettes with me. They're all affordable. I don't have money for the blue blood palette or even the, the sugar blood. Oh no, the blood sugar, sugar blood. The blood sugar which I've been trying to save for. It's just, it's just too expensive. So what I did was I gathered up a lot of my palettes, all the palettes that I have that have some blue in them and I decided, you know what, why don't we try to recreate the looks I've seen online using the blue blood palette. I'm just gonna pull up a picture of the blue blood palette. I can't say blue blood, blue blood. To see what, what colors there are and what we can kind of work with. This is my most colorful palette. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. They have the blues some of like the, the greens and some of those like really really pale yellows like I think this is kind of okay as the pale yellow I'm sorry that's a pink yellow I also have the ColourPop My Little Pony palette I know that Blue Blood has like a like a shimmery white and these kind of look like what the Blue Blood has as well finally I have the 39A Dare to Create palette by Morphe and this has that dark blue in the blue blood, the very last, that very corner shade and some shimmers as well. So we're going to see if we can do something with these. So let's just get into the video. I'm just going to be putting concealer all over my lids just to make sure that the co those colors really like pop, give them a chance. Hey everyone, so I zoomed you in a little. This is the look we're going to recreate using um, three different palettes that are affordable. And yeah, I laid on a bit of this pale pink just to act as a transition. First, we're going to go in with this color right here. This is from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I think this could be like a color to kind of dupe the ice cold color. For this look, using this sh these shadows, these type of shadows, I'm not like dragging them like that. I'm just more unpacking them on, just packing them on to slowly build up that pigment. Even the ColourPop neon um, products now, like you have to put a white base underneath so that the neon will pop the way it does. Now we're going to go in with another brush and I'm taking that pink shade that I use as my transition. I'm just going to be adding to the transition area. And once I mix this in, it's going to the that area is going to turn a little bit purple, which is what I I like. I really like that. It kind of looks even, I think. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Next, since the color from the there to create palette is not as it's kind of patchy, the indigo color, I'm going to be laying down a base first, a tacky base. So I'm going to be putting my color pop no filter concealer in the shade light neutral. I'll just be putting that all over my eye. So while that is still tacky, we're gonna go in with the color indigo from the. This is the color indigo from the there 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 to create. Just packing it on the outer corners of my eyes. Okay, so I'm having a really I'm having a hard time blending that out. So I'm just gonna go in to the next color. The next color is this beautiful aquamarine color, and I'll just be putting that right in the center. To connect that weird gap, we're gonna take this color from the BH Cosmetics palette, and there's just no names on this BH Cosmetics palette, and we're just gonna connect the two. We're just gonna mix it all together. Next, we're gonna go in with the shimmer. So the shimmer I'm gonna be using is this from the um, Dare to Create palette. It's called Taylor. And we're just gonna be placing that all over the inner corner of my eyes. And then we're gonna mix in it into that shader, that center shade color, just to give it um, a nice gradient. Next, we're gonna go in and with into that like light blue bleh, bleh, what am I doing? This light blue shade again, just a little bit, and then redoing that blue around because we kind of lost it there. We're gonna take a really nice pencil brush and we're gonna dip into that dark indigo shade again. 
and be careful with this step because we're just gonna line that um, cut that we did just to emphasize the cut so uh, just be careful with this step just to emphasize that we cut it oh my god I'm gonna rinse that off later we're gonna go in with the uh, my pony palette, my pr pretty little, my pl meh, my little pony palette, and we're gonna go in with this color right here called, I think this is called Snuzzle. I'm not sure. We're gonna put this inside, in as my inner corner highlight, and then up here in the brow bone, a little bit in the first half of my eye underneath, and then we're gonna remove this. Ooh, nice sharp line. It's even. Yay, it's even. Let me see if I can brush this off. No, I can't. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh. So definitely... Oh, fudge. Look at that. So I'm gonna clean this up off camera after I do my bottom lashes. So, before we go clean this mess up, we're gonna take another brush and then run that light blue color underneath the eyes. Then we're gonna go in with this aquamarine color, green, green, blue, green color. Go underneath the eyes as well. Finally, we're gonna go in with this color right here, and go in, but only in the outer, outer eye. Next, we're gonna go in um, with our liquid concealer. No, liquid, not liquid liner. I this is from H and M. It's really cheap. It's on sale, so I got it. We're gonna take a, a glitter, like some glitter, and this is by h and I, I like their stuff. We're just gonna line that cut that we did. So just line it. Hey everyone, so I am back, and I'm just gonna be putting some liner at the bottom of my lashes, um, I mean, of my eyes. This is a green, this is from, I think it's Wet n Wild. No, it is Rimmel. Soft coal. I gotta say, my lashes are. I put my lashes on pretty well. Like, hmm, I follow the Scott Barnes inner corner, outer corner method, and I like it. Looks good. Yay! So, if you want to see my Scott Barnes, um, I do my I, I do my makeup like Scott Barnes does. Tati's makeup for J Lo. I mean, you know that kind of video. Then I'll be linking it up here. It's a fun video. Please go and watch it. I will really appreciate it. So I just put on my highlight. My highlight is uh, this Colourpop Spellbound. This is Super Shock Cheek, but it's in Spellbound. It's absolutely twinkly. It's not the usual highlight, but it's beautiful. I like it. And for lashes, I am using this weird... I don't know what this is. Shidi Shangpin. This is, I think, a Chinese brand. But they come in a set of two and sometimes three. And I really like this style in... 3D X32. I like them. Very nice. Very nice. For my blush, I'm using the NYC Riverside Rose Cheek Glow. And for my bronzer, I'm just using the NYC Smooth Skin Powder in 728 Sunny. For my lips, I'm using Chi. I don't know if it's still being sold by ColourPop, um, but that's what on my uh, bleh, that's what's on my lips. So this is the look I created inspired by the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do have the Blue Blood Palette, I really really congratulate you. It's so hard to get and it's pretty pricey and it's kind of like, do I need it? I mean, I don't need it but it's gorgeous. <clears throat> Please like this video if you did. If you like the look, comment down below. I hope you consider subscribing and I hope you hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!